From the Catholic News Agency, transgender students unknowingly admitted to Catholic seminaries, Archbishop warns. Bishops should consider requiring DNA tests or physical examinations to ensure that all seminarians are biological men, said Milwaukee Archbishop Jerome Listecki in a recent memo sent to the members of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops or the USCCB. Recently, the Committee on Canonical Affairs and Church Governance was made aware of instances where it had been discovered that a woman living under a transgendered identity had been unknowingly admitted to seminary or to a house of formation of the Institute of Consecrated Life, said the memo. Lastecki is the chairperson of the USCCB's Canonical Affairs Committee. In one case, said Lastecki, the individual's sacramental records had been fraudulently obtained to reflect her new identity. In all instances, nothing in these individuals' medical or psychological reports has signaled past treatments or pertinent surgeries, he added. None of the biologically female seminarians received holy orders, said Lestecki. The Archbishop's memo does not identify which seminarians or houses of formation have enrolled a biological female who presented herself as a male, nor was it clarified if these instances occurred in the United States or elsewhere. Rocco Palmo, who writes the blog Whispers in Logia, first reported the memo via Twitter on September 23rd. While a Catholic baptism certificate typically does not indicate the sex of a person being baptized, the Christian denominations have invited people identifying as transgender to reaffirm their baptismal promises under their new chosen name. The Archbishop said that he was encouraged by the committee to send the memo to his brother bishops so that they could exercise special vigilance as a new year of seminary formation begins. Lestecki, a doctor of canon law, noted that canon law requires the diocesan bishop to admit to the major seminary and to promote to holy orders only men who possess the requisite physical and psychological qualities, and that the bishop can require various means to establish moral certitude in this regard. The memo continues, Some members of the Committee on Canonical Affairs and Church Governance observed that a bishop could consider requiring a DNA test or, at a minimum, certification from a medical expert of the bishop's own choosing to assure that the applicant is male.